Hi everyone, this is Jane here um, from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to do your card for the day. Just to put down, have a little shuffle and put down a card from the Faulkner Tarot deck. Let's see what we've got here today. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, the card I've got for today is 10 card um, in the Major Arcana, which is the wheel. Now uh, the wheel talks about changes, um, kind of changes coming in and um, kind of changing fortune, can be a change in luck. If you feel like you've been a bit sort of down on your luck, it can be a bit of a change around with that. Um, I would say that this is quite an interesting card today because, you know, for all sorts of reasons, there's lots of change around at the moment or, or lots of kind of fear of change. And I kind of feel like there's a need to get a message through um, at the moment that is going to be things are going to be OK. There's a lot of fear around at the moment um, because of, of things that are going on. Um, in the world and sometimes that kind of change is frightening for us um but i kind of feel like this card's been given to me it's showing me that it's going to be okay um so don't fear the change um that's around you and do remember that that people and things around us only have a power to affect us if we allow them to okay so you don't have to allow all this all this stuff that's going on at the moment to kind of get under your skin or to bring you down you can choose to not buy into all of that okay so the 10 card is um i i think it's a really positive card i really like the wheel um it it seldom comes up when this when it's changed for the worse it's usually changed for the better um and i just kind of feel like it's about you taking back your own power now and um deciding that whatever happens around you is only going to bring you good stuff you're only going to focus on the joyful stuff around you if the news is not bringing you joy at the moment don't watch the news um just tune into something else find some cartoons to watch do anything you can to put a smile on your face because you don't want to be buying into energy any energy that is not doing that okay um so let me just pop down a law of attraction card it's a very quiet energy at the moment um i kind of feel like yesterday and today have been very quiet days um days of not a lot of energy not a lot of things happening um other than the major stuff um just feels very eerily quiet to me just at the moment um so i kind of feel like it's i think we're having a little bit of a, a calm before the storm um where the moon's concerned the moon is full on monday next week and it's a massive um super moon um it's a kind of once in a lifetime super moon and i will do some something else about that um a little bit nearer the time probably at the weekend um but i kind of feel really drained at the moment in energy and that often goes with what's happening with the moon so i will give you more on that later on but the energy feels quite low to me at the moment so let's just have a little look and see what the law of attraction says sometimes when the energy is low i think i said this yesterday the best thing to do is kind of go back to basics really and just do the stuff that you need to do to um sort yourself out and um kind of don't engage too much in stuff you don't have to engage in okay so i'm just gonna look at this law of attraction and this is quite a nice interesting one since we've just been talking about the moon um this card is saying my inner being guides me through my emotions um and the little message on the back of this is saying while you are indeed a wondrous physical creator, you exist simultaneously in another dimension. There is part of you, your inner being, that exists in this physical body 
and your guiding emo emotions are your physical indications of your relationship with your inner being. So what that's saying is if you're feeling physically upset, drained, tired, all of that stuff, it's kind of saying that you're a little bit out of sync with your inner being, your kind of spirit and your soul and, and all of that. So if you are feeling that way, then take that time to kind of take a little step back and to get back in touch with that. Get back in touch with the things that bring a smile to your face and put a, put a joyful energy around you. Um, if you're feeling really tired and drained, I'm feeling quite that way at the moment. And I think it's to do with this whole full moon thing. Um, just get some rest. Allow yourself to have a little break. Um, we don't all have to bang away at everything 24-7. So um, the kind of message today is quite calm and I kind of feel like there's an energy of just be calm at the moment. Um, just allow things to kind of take their path. Don't allow things that you don't find joyful to buy in. Don't give them that power. Okay. Keep your power for yourself. Don't allow other things to take that power away. People can only affect you if you let them, you know, and situations can if you let them. Um, so kind of keep it, keep it nice and I almost feel like it's, it's a nurturing energy needed around you today. So I will leave that with you. Um, should be back again tomorrow to do another card of today. So for now, goodbye for now.